Hi everyone, thanks again for joining me in my life on a hill. My name is Tracy. Today I'm going to do my own version of a scrapbook. I have YouTube a lot of different scrapbook for babies and they're really pretty and everything but um, I just want to show you another inexpensive way to make it so you don't have to buy the materials out there. You could just use already what you have. Now if you have a computer software that can give you the ability to do scrapbook um, just go ahead and what I did was print them off I was hoping to do a 5 by 7 but then when they printed I'm like okay I like this size and if you want you could cut it down but on this page at the actual page actually stop over here because you can put the baby picture right there so this is how wide it really is so if you want you could trim the edge and then leave this side for the whole um, puncher but I decided to keep it because I think I'm going to decorate it up here with lace. So what I did was print individual images on, this is a cardstock. And instead of like putting it in the printer and flipping it and putting it this way, I just went ahead because I wasn't sure exactly how I wanted to, to put them on each other. So I went ahead and printed them on individual page and then I glued them just with my regular glue stick. And I glued them together. So this is basically, if you can see, this is basically my book right here. So I'm just skipping page pages because my hands dry. And then we have the back page. So you get to basically sit down and line them up how you want. So I'll show you like this is the opposite side, like that. So I'm not sure yet how I'm going to secure them so that it could be a book but in the meantime let me show you some of the materials that I have over here I have my Martha Stewart um, glitters and I do have a Martha Stewart gun but it's been giving me a problem I'm like gun sorry um pen glue pen but it's giving me a little bit of problem because I haven't used it in a while I try soaking it in hot water I'm not sure if that's gonna work then I have some animal bling blings and some glitter the only thing with the glitter is that it's gonna need a, a, a while to dry if you decide to continue to the next page and that's a glitter pen. Then I have some blue flowers and some blue baby accessories. And this is the lace that I want to put around the border. And I have all these ribbons here because I'm not sure exactly which one I'll use. And then I have some bling bling um, foam boards. And then I have some letters, I mean some numbers. And some different things. These I bought the other day from Michaels. They were on sale. Some glitter. This came from my son's um, kit for school. You know, sometimes they have projects to do. So I went ahead and bought those. And the stars. And some rhinestone. And double side um, adhesive tape. Glue sticks. Glue gun. And of course, my cardstock. So, just let's go and... Let's come on with me for this journey because I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I don't even have a single idea in my head. That's what I love about craft is that I get to lay everything out. I just wish I had a bigger area just to show you. Uh, yeah, it's still dressed up for Thanksgiving and I don't want to get rid of it because this is my first year actually dressing up. So anyways, guys, let's start, okay? So uh, because this is an unusual shape um, frame, it's not actually punched this way, which you could use this hole puncher. I went ahead and used the individual puncher and I just kind of lined it up as equal as I think it may be and I went ahead and put the ring in. Um, I have two more but I just wanted to show you how it's going to look because I want to work with it first before I go ahead and and put everything in. Now remember these are not the, these actually are for like if you're making like a handbag or something and you want to do a chain, you know stuff like that. So. You have to clip it right there in order for it to work or if not it's like if you're sewing a, a purse and you have these hooks at the side you do your flap then you sew it but because i need this i'm going to cut it and then when i'm done with it i'm going to glue it together so now i'm going to start working on each page and decorate the way i want to
Anyways, guys, thanks again for joining me on my Life on a Hill. And please don't forget to subscribe. And have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.